Hello Zenbees, it's time for a string safari. A string safari is a project where we create a zentangle using a given string. And this is our string safari number 48. You can check out all our projects from this series in the playlist String Safari. I am Sandhya Manne, I'm an artist and a certified zentangle teacher. In this channel, we talk about creating and practicing zentangle, my own zentangle inspired artworks and collectibles. Make sure you hit that like button, share the video and subscribe to the channel so you do not miss out on any videos that I post here every Tuesdays and Fridays. For today's project, I'm working on a regular white square tile with my black pen, pencil and stuff. So go grab your supplies and let's get started. On to tangling now. Okay, so here we are uh, with our supplies. This is my white square tile. And I'm going to use my 01 black micron, a 08 black micron, a pencil and a stub for today's session. So now let's get started. This is our string number 48. That's awesome. So let's um, start with our pencil. So I'm not going to make any border. I'm going to get started right away. So I start from this corner and pull out a line kind of like this to somewhere here, slightly away from the corner. So this goes like this, a nice curved line. Okay. Now I'm going to pull out another line again from here to about maybe somewhere here. So again, this is going to be a curved line. So I'm going to start from here, so like that. And from here, I'm going to pull out another line that goes like this. So I have about four sections. Okay, so that is my string. So let's get started with our first angle, which is jonquil. Or uh, let's start with our first angle, garlic claw. So we're going to do that here. Um, so garlic claw is a fun tangle. So we start with, uh, there are a couple of ways to do this. You can either make dots and then connect them. Uh, but I like to make each bar as I go. So I'm going to start off with a straight line and then you keep adding these curved lines around that to create this fun part so you can add as many uh, can go as as much as you want so i'm going to stop here now i'm going to pull out another line to this end here and i'm going to add more lines to this So you can pull out your lines in whichever direction you want. It's that's the fun part of garlic law. There's no right way of doing this. You can just it's it, like it has its own mind. So keep adding. like that it's extremely zen creating lines like this okay this is a nice organic tangle So 
so keep going uh, just keep on adding lines you can make them short you can make them long uh, it, it gives a nice interesting twist like that. so basically these curves that you're making along the line has to touch each other at the ends like that so you start from here the space between the lines but towards the end again it's kind of connected so that also gives a nice depth right there which makes it look interesting so I am going to take my time to fill this entire section here this this entire V section here okay so go ahead and fill up this this entire big section Okay, so I'm almost done. I still have like a couple of places here that I want to add in. So I'm just going to go ahead and continue doing this. And I think I'm going to pull out one more here. So, so now I have all these gaps in here which we can either fill it up with solid black or add some other tangle and I am going to add some tipples. like this so you can either have some big circles or small circles it totally depends on how you want this and if the spaces are really small like you don't have much room then you can fill it up with solid black so again take your time to do this So it really looks interesting when you have like a mix of two tangles in here, lines and the circles.
Okay, so here it is all done. Now let's get to this section. So here we are going to create a tangle jonquil. So here's how I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to make my first line like this, which is basically I'm inking my pencil line that I drew. And then I'm going to make bands of lines like this. So here we are going to do a zigzag. So Jonker goes like this, you make the zigzag lines across the vertical lines. So it creates a nice um, 3D finish. So now I am going to use my 08 pen and we're going to fill this these squares alternatingly. So I am going to have this one filled with solid black. So I'm going to skip this section and have the section filled in. Okay. So now I'm going to skip this. So continuing on that, we are going to fill this section now. Okay, and then now we're going to fill this section. And we're also going to fill this teeny tiny section here. So continue doing this on the rest of our jonquil to give a nice black contrast. Okay, so here it is all done. And I like the contrast that it creates, the black and the white. So the next thing that I'm going to do here is to kind of pull out these lines, right? So I am, let's do it this way. So I'm going to pull out these lines like that. Uh, but here, I'm going to add in finer lines. This.
okay so i'm going to leave it at this and here in this section we're going to make poke leaf so i'm going to make a very kind of tight shaped poke leaf more like this so i'm going to keep adding my stems and keep adding my petals or rather leaves So go ahead and fill this entire section. Wet pop leaf. So here it is all done. I am going to add one more here. Like that. So again this section we can either add in circles but I am going to fill it up with black to give that contrast. So let's go ahead and add black. So here it is my tile with book leaf and garlic claws and jonquil. So uh, before I get to shading I just want to give a bit of weighting here right at the end of these lines. So this is totally optional but I just wanted to give that depth okay so here it is all done now let's get to shading so I am going to add my pencil right here and here as well I'm just going to add my pencil here. Okay, so let's blend this.
Okay. Just gotta smoothen this a bit more. It's making it slightly darker just at the edge. Okay, so I'm just blending this. So here we are going to add some pencil and we're going to add pencil wherever there's a bunch of garlic cloves kind of meeting. Okay, so I'm using my stop to blend this. So I think I can add a bit of pencil here and here and here. Okay, and I just realized I have this teeny tiny section left. So I'm going to add my black in here. So now for my coat leaf, I'm just going to add my pencil just on one side. It can be whichever side. Like that and I'm going to blend this off. So that is my tile for today's session. Um, so let's now sign our artwork. I can put my initials in this. And let's now journal this. So uh, today's date is 20th of April 2021. And this is YouTube and we are working on string safari series wherein this is string number 48 and we started off with garlic cloves and then when then we went on to add Jonquil There's no U And then we went on to add Pork leaf And that was it We, we added some fun We added some fun lines and tipples and things like that. So that is our tile for today's session. Hope you had fun on this safari. I would love to see your creations. So head on to our Facebook group Zenvies where all the after party fun happens. Share your creations there and check out the works where others envies. If you're sharing your works on social media, then please do tag me at Sandhya Manne or hashtag Tangled with Sandhya so I get to see your lovely works. And I do stop by to comment. A quick note, these projects and these videos are for your personal use and no part of this can be used for any kind of commercial purposes. To understand the Zentangle method and to get started on your own Zentangle journey, send me an email to get information about my group classes or to schedule your private sessions. 
class for the month of April are now open. Also check out my online co courses on teachable.com. On Tuesdays at 7.30 p.m. India time, I host a Zentangle mini project on my Instagram live. Um, my handle is at Sandhya Manne, so join me there and let's tangle together in real time. To receive my weekly newsletter, click on the link Tangle Organizer in the description. When you sign up, remember to claim your free gift and get updates on my upcoming workshops and other cool events that I do across social media platforms. It's time to comment now, so please comment and let me know how you enjoyed this project. Also, uh, it's time to show some love, so hit that like button, share the video and subscribe to the channel. I shall see you next in Focus Flight series on Friday. Until then, remember to breathe and smile. See ya. Namaste.